It's rare for you to have cervical cancer when a high-risk HPV type is found in the sample you collected. However, when HPV is found, it's important that you attend all follow-up appointments recommended for you. HPV is very common and most of the time harmless. Often, HPV goes away on its own without a person even knowing they had it. In some cases, HPV does not go away on its own and can persist for many years, which may lead to abnormal cells that need to be removed to prevent cancer from developing. There are several HPV types that are associated with cancer. The type of follow-up you need is based on the type of high-risk HPV found in your sample. Follow-up will be either a pap test or a colposcopy. During a pap test, a healthcare provider will gently insert an instrument called a speculum in your vagina to be able to see your cervix. Your healthcare provider will then collect some cells from your cervix using a small brush or spatula. The test takes between five to 10 minutes. It is usually not painful, but can be a bit uncomfortable. The other type of follow-up that may be recommended is a colposcopy. During a colposcopy, a specialist will gently insert a speculum in your vagina to help see your cervix. The specialist will then look at your cervix using a special microscope called a colposcope. You will lie down like you would for a pap test or pelvic exam. The specialist may take a very small piece of tissue or a biopsy. The test takes about 10 minutes and you may go home right after it is done. The test does not require you to receive any freezing or pain medication. After attending your follow-up, your healthcare provider will notify you of your results and let you know if further follow-up or treatment is needed. Remember, Having HPV does not mean that you have or will develop cancer. However, it is very important to attend all recommended follow-up. For more information about your at-home cervix screening result, talk to your healthcare provider or visit this website.